Simply speaking, volcanoes are openings or cracks in the Earth's crust, through which lava, ashes, rocks and gas erupts. Volcanoes is also a mountain that is formed out of the leftover products it erupts. Kind of reminds you of a phoenix, doesn't it? Volcanoes have existed on Earth for a long time, and scientists claim that volcanoes had caused a lot of catastrophes like mass extinction. In one of our previous videos, we talked about the sixth mass extinction, and volcanoes directly caused the Permian-Triassic extinction event, which was the fifth mass extinction. It happened around 250 million years ago and is the largest mass extinction in Earth's history. 90% of sea species and 70% of land species were wiped out of existence because of the high volcanic activity in Siberia. Actually, the extinction and the time when it happened is called Permian because a British geologist discovered it in a layer near the town Perm in Russia. Multiple eruptions of East Siberian traps erupt a lot of goods into the atmosphere – arsenic, chromium and, of course, good old carbon dioxide, which together caused severe greenhouse effect. And tens of tons of ashes finished up the process and changed the composition of water. As the result, there became less oxygen and light, and whole classes of animals became extinct. That led to the appearance of mammals and dinosaurs. But we doubt anyone would be happy if that had happened today. Volcanoes can exist, existed, and still exist on other planets. Some of them have been slipping for ages. Such volcanoes exist on the Moon and on Mars. Active guys can be found on the Moon of Jupiter. Io. Leave a like if you don't know that Io was named after a priestess of Hera, who was also Zeus's lover. Nowadays, researchers are trying to find a way to predict when volcano eruptions will happen on Earth from analyzing cases produced by volcanoes. But this area hasn't had any breakthroughs yet. So how do volcanoes form? USA Geological Surveys state that the Earth's crust is between 5 and 60 kilometers. It's split into seven main pieces and 152 smaller fragments called tectonic plates. Those plates float on top of the magma layer. Magma are semi-liquid rocks dissolved in gases. In places where those plates meet, where they pass by each other, repel and move away from each other, magma which is lighter than the surrounding solid rock, and it often can seep through the cracks. Magma can escape through ventilation openings or flow out of volcanoes, like out of an overflow flowing mug. The escaping magma is what we call lava. First fun fact, more than 80% of Earth's surface above and below the ocean was formed by volcano activity. Volcanoes can affect and do affect the climate by release sulfate aerosol into the upper layers of the atmosphere during eruptions, which happen every hundred years, and the effect lasts for a few years. But that's a whole different story. With this, let's slowly move our focus to Greece and to an island called Thera or Santorini. Now it's a well-known touristy place where right now you will find the sun, the sea, breathtaking views, hotels booked for weeks in advance, thousands of tourists are running around everywhere. By the way, last year the island passed a law to limit the number of tourists allowed at once. Now, the volcanic island Santorini allows no more than 8,000 tourists to preserve the infrastructure. Before the limit existed, the island used to get around 16,000 visitors. But this isn't a travel blog, so let's return to our sheep, or in this case, volcanoes. Santorini is a name of a volcanic caldera on an active volcano on Thera Island in Aegean Sea. The caldera formed after an eruption, which was a cause of destruction of Aegean towns and death of people on Crete, Thera, and all around the Mediterranean Sea. This catastrophe happened sometime around 1700-1600 before Christ. The volcanic explosivity index of the eruption was 7, which is comparable to the eruption of Tambora, which we mentioned before, and three times more powerful than eruption of Krakatau. The cloud of ashes reached out for 200-1000 kilometers. There is a popular version that states the eruption caused a giant tsunami, with waves reaching 100 meters in height, which destroyed the Minoan civilization on Crete. The earthquake warned the islanders about the disaster. They packed up, loaded their ships, and fled from their motherland. After the volcano erupted, a colossal amount of scorching ash and pumice, it emptied out its inside, and the giant volcanic cone collapsed under its own weight. With that went all the abandoned towns and roads near the mountain. This caused a giant hole to appear, and seawater flooded it. This also caused a giant wave to form, which wiped coast towns and villages. The Santorini Mountain 
disappeared. The huge oval hole, the Volcano Caldera, got flooded by waters of the Aegean Sea, which is actually visible on photos taken from space. Pretty epic, right? We have something left for the dessert. There is a hypothesis that the legend of Atlantis is based off of this eruption. There are two theories. The doom of Atlantis was caused by the explosion of Santorini and the immersion of Thera into the waters of the Aegean Sea. Thera is the legendary Atlantis, which was the capital of the Aegean civilization. Fun fact number three. Volcanoes leave long-term effects. Gas and other stuff that was erupted into the upper layers of the atmosphere during the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991 caused the global temperature to decrease by about 0.5 degrees Celsius for the next year. Well, we went over history and theory. What's left? Right, let's look at the current volcanic activity. Well, things are fine and going exactly as they should. Let's look at this summer summary. In the beginning of June, the volcano called Etna on Sicily awoke. Thousands of tourists flooded the area to take pictures in front of it, and the locals looked to the mountain with terror, wondering whether something happens. In the middle of June, two volcanoes on the Kamchatka Peninsula became active, and each erupted a 5 kilometers high column of ash. Later, the Popocatépetl volcano, located 70 kilometers away from Mexico, awoke. This burning Mexican is the largest and the most active volcano in the country. Its name translates to Smoking Hill. Towards the end of the month, the Reiko K volcano, located in central Kuril Islands, erupted, which caused the death of plants and animals. The director of the Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, Alexei Azurov, raised concerns that such dangerous events can occur on other Kuril Islands, which have economic and strategic importance for the region and the country. Kamchatka surprised us in July. The tallest volcano on the Eurasian continent, Klitschewska Sopka, started erupting. This volcano erupts every three to five years. Last time it happened during 2015. After the long break, scientists measured abnormal temperatures near the crater of Klitschewska Sopka. Temperatures reached 800 to 900 degrees Celsius. Can modern humanity survive the activation of several volcanoes at once? Such events did cause mass extinctions before. Right now, there are around 1,500 active volcanoes in total. And according to calculations of American scientists, humanity doesn't stand a chance if all of them become active at once. The Tambora volcano mentioned before alone caused the Earth's temperature to drop by 5 degrees. This period was called the time without summer that led to terrifying famine in Europe. And if you do some simple math, you can multiply this number by the number of volcanoes and add total lack of sunlight because of ashes, acidic rains, and complete stop of photosynthesis. The cherry on top are the deadly tsunamis caused by underwater volcanoes and energy from other volcanoes. Eruption of Mount Santorini was equivalent to 200,000 nuclear bombs. If even a half of existing volcanoes blow up, the dead man will be the luckiest. Thank God, this is nearly impossible. But we hope that now you understand that all of humanity's achievements perish when compared to the power of Mother Nature. That's all we have for now. Leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Share this video with your friends while we prepare new, interesting and informative content for you. See you later, friends!